All right, the next step to the process, now that we've got the DVR on the network and it's got its static IP, we need to test it and see that we're able to connect to it locally on the local network. This is before we even get to the router. Because uh, I can guarantee if you can't see it locally, you're not going to be able to port forward it and see it remotely. So the first step is to start with the simple stuff. Go back to the DOS prompt and run a ping on your DVR. If you can't ping it and get a reply, then there's a network problem. You're either not on the same network or maybe one digit is off somewhere. Just double check all the numbers because you should be able to get a ping at this point because you're on the same network. The next thing to actually do is to try and connect to it remotely. I say remotely in the sense of across the network. This is not uh, dealing with the internet yet. This is just across you know, the network inside the building. So go ahead and add your DVR to the list. By default, your list is going to be blank. So this first part is just text. It's just the name. Um, you can give it any th name that you want. The second part is what IP address do you want to connect to? Again, since we're internally, we're going to be using internal numbers. Later, we'll be doing this externally across the internet, so we'll be using the external numbers, but right now we're still inside. This next part here is your port. It's whatever port was programmed in the DVR. By default, it's 5400. And then just go ahead and add it to your list. Now, this list can have more than one DVR in it. You can you know, use your client program to connect to multiple DVRs. Maybe you have multiple sites across the country. Just highlight the one you're looking for and connect to it. And you should see video. Now this will be local video across the network. Um, and if you can see local video across the network like this, then you're good to go. Uh, that's the first part. Now that you have an internal connection, we can move on to the next step, which is doing the port forward, in which case we'll push the connection out onto the internet.